pulled the other day and I really liked it and I just wanted a fourth creature, but like clearly a mix of three one is stupid. It should be like two two or just four of one. Or like maybe even just three of one and a fourth bedlam reveler. But anyway, we're gonna jump right into the match. Pretty clearly gonna kill that. Kind of a hard match because they play a crap ton of removal, so like getting one of our creatures through before they like spike a Clofus or a Glorybringer is like really hard. Hey George, what's up? Oh god, my hair. My hair is just going everywhere right now. <clears throat> Screw it. I'm just going to take my hat off. Well, that's kind of disappointing too because I really want to play uh, Kiln Fiend this term, but. I guess uh, if I get a Lava Dart, I'm going to cast a Lava Dart. Hope everything's going well for you, Mr. George. One time, no Lightning Bolt. <laughs> hey. They should really draw another land. We're going to try to hit them for everything that we can because we have the Bedlam Reveler next turn anyway. They've not, they've not f 6 to my turn, so it gives me some concern that they're going to kill this in a second. But like I said, I'm... Don't, I don't really care because I'm casting the Bellum Reveler next turn anyway, so it just behooves me to empty the old hand. And if they don't have the Lightning Bolt, they're dead. They do have the Lightning Bolt, they're at 10, and I'm still casting a Bellum Reveler to one land. Um, we don't really have any sideboard for this type of match. Uh, the Dismember is the best thing I can bring in. And I think it's better than the Kiln Fiends. I would sideboard out all the Kiln Fiends in this match. This is a match I much prefer Runaway Steamkin in. Um, the main reason I went back to the Kiln Fiend for anybody who asks was because I played five matches of the Mana Trader series and got paired versus four Amulet decks. Uh, I went three and one versus them with the Steamkin, but like... Obviously, that match gets incredibly easier with the Kiln Fiend. But that could have just been an aberration. Uh, it won either the Showcase or the Challenge last weekend, uh, Titan did. So I was thinking, like, maybe there would be a few more of them, but, like, maybe that's just wrong. Maybe I should just be using Steamkin the entire time. Obviously, Kiln Fiend gives you your best chance to uh, Goldfish and things of that nature, but, like, is that really what we're doing here? like so few decks I think you get the goldfish versus I'm surprised they saw, didn't sideboard that out I'm I'm a big fan of sideboarding out Arbor Else versus the Lava Dart deck I really don't have anything better to throw my Lava Darts even at is the big reason and I'm clearly not going to sideboard my Lava Friends out ever. Uh, drawing a second Bellum Reveler is obviously not what we want, specifically because this is a deck that often has Relic in the sideboard, but even when they don't have Relic, they do have Clofus, like a bunch of them in the main, so like even getting to one Bellum Reveler would be difficult. So, like, say I was playing a more traditional build of this deck, and I had the Steamkins. Uh, Bedlam Revelers is what I would have sideboarded out for that dismember. Or some amount of dismembers or whatever. <laughs> I 
But I have a build that's not set up for this match. And, you know, this match is probably a little bit too popular for me not to be set up for. So, like, if they just resolve a Kiln Fiend here, my four card hand, well, three card hand, goes down to two in reality. Could, like, chain a bunch of Manamorphoses or something, or just, like, hit a crap ton of cantrips, but. The likelihood of that's probably not high. Um, guess I could go ahead and lava spike them this turn. Um, gives me the opportunity to like say they need to use this for mana to glory bring or this or whatever. <laughs> It'll give me the opportunity to draw a metamorphose into any one drop. And I just don't think the killing thing is going to do any damage anyway. So this puts me up to 6 mana, so like a Metamorphose and any spell that I could cast if they use the Clothus to bring a Glorybringer out would do the trick. If not, like, you could always like run a Crash through into Metamorphose, Metamorphose or something, just these Balaam Revelers are not getting cast. So we're at three cards in the graveyard now, we're at six. They're gonna get rid of one of them probably. There's a chance they could start worrying about their life total, but it's probably way too early for that. I'm actually kind of shocked that they didn't just cast a Munkrush Shrine. Means they have another removal spell, most likely. So we're at four. We can't use either of those. <laughs> hey, Hodge. How are you doing today, friendo? Yeah. This game's not looking very good for me. Well, that's a lot of damage they get to put on the table as well. Opponent, leave with me, leave with me alone. Huh? So they get to play some things. This puts the fourth thing in our graveyard. This puts the fifth thing in our graveyard. Basically on zero out now. So best case scenario here, I take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, wait, that's not right, 4, yeah, that's 12, I'm counting double Clothus activation when I count that. Because <laughs> like the best case scenario is I dismember this, I'm taking 6 this turn, 6 next turn, or sorry, I'm taking uh, 10 this turn, 2 next turn. 
know why I said 6-6. Six, six. I'd be able to block this most likely, but... Uh, well, if they're going for mana, I'm definitely just going to go ahead and stop wasting everyone's time. I appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for definitely stopping by. And like I said, the, the Bedlam Revelers are just like really not good in this match. I wonder if Shrine's better. They probably don't have any way to actually kill the Shrine. This Shrine probably survives forever. These Lava Spikes probably aren't good here either, but... I doubt they have any way to actually stop the Shrine. Also, don't know if the Shrine's ever enough, but... I mean, this is the hand I, type of hand I do keep with this deck, but... It's, like, clearly not that good of a hand. I have a, uh, Lightning Dart for an Arbor Elf, or a Lightning Dart for a Light Up Stage. Come on, Swift Spear. Hey. That's a card we like. They have a good amount of removal for the Swift Spear, but hopefully we'll be able to dodge that, or at least, like, hopefully they'll have to use a Shock Land or something. This is a Bone Crush Giant, too. We could also consider using the Lava Dart to keep it around. Oh. Okay. If they have Utopia Sprawl then, they're just casting a second forest. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually really good for us. I'm gonna lead with this. I'm gonna try to hit another land this turn. This is not another land. Um, could just lava dart them and light up the stage. Also, want to lava dart this this turn. Maybe I'm supposed to just kill this and play this. And not hitting the third land kind of sucks. I'm not sure which I was supposed to do there. Thought about using the light up the stage, or sorry, Lava Darting Dome using the light up the stage, trying to draw uh, a land and then using the other Lava Dart on that, but like, or casting this and then sacking a land, but if I don't hit the second land, like, Feels like the game's basically over. Of course, they play Anger to Gods and things as well, so like maybe the game's just over anyway. That's just a Chandra. They down tick the Chandra. We can lava dart that. Just kind of cool. So they're 14, and we can 3, 6, 9, 10, 11 them. It's a lot. Kind of feel like they're going to show us a glory bringer. I think I just cast all the spells anyway. I'm gonna look for the land this time. I'll probably lava dart this even if I miss. On the land. I 
missed what we missed on the land. That's uh <clears throat> really bad. I'm glad we didn't go for trying to find the land last turn, but At least they have to exert if they do have the glory bringer. Which gives us a chance that if we draw a land over the next two turns, we're probably good. But not necessarily good. Land? Well, we have to go for it. If they have the thing that gains them life, they just have it. It's probably better for me to use the lightning bolt during their upkeep. That way, if they have the weather to storm, they gain six instead of nine. Though I'm pretty sure even if they gain six, they just win. Because they're also gaining two a turn from that point on. Well, they're not snap casting it. They're probably calling me a slow roller or something in chat since they're taking a time to pause here. But I do think it is actually correct to wait. I don't know if we win even if we do wait, but like, like it has to be better, right? So said they had a weather storm. They go to six. They go to eight. Uh. Next turn, our best draws like burn, uh, light up the stage, mountain three point burn. So we should, we just get them to one. So yeah, I guess we I guess we couldn't win through six either way, but I don't know. It seems like that was just a correct timing anyway. Anyway, there's eleven matches out, so let's jump in and play a mana traders. One and oh, prelim. People I always like to ask, so. Oh, well, it logged me out of Mana Traders. Usually doesn't do that. Oh well, I'll click an extra two buttons. Kick a message to my friend Josh real quick. We have a pairing. Copy. So constructed modern tournament practice. Create. Hey, come back. There we go. So who are we looking for? 
A Z U T H. Okay, we got the right opponent. Lovely. Hit them with the good luck, have fun, especially. Should always hit people with that. You should enjoy playing Magic if you're going to play it, but like, especially when it comes to the Mana Trader series, because, you know, this is a free tournament that Mana Traders is gracious enough to give us. Like, everybody should just enjoy it. Like, I'm not even doing well right now, and I'm still having fun and appreciate it. I think I'm 5-5. Five and five. Went 2-4 and four with uh, Infect, and we're 4-1 and one so far, so switching to Prowess. Now, that could be a problem. The blackish-white decks generally have infinite removal. But let's hope they don't. Let's hope they're just going to cast a turn two Stoneforge, friend. Don't kill it. No fatal push. That's, that's not a fatal push. I don't know if I could be paid to play Path to Exile in a black-white deck. There's so many other good removal. We're going to take the boat, clearly. Ooh. Spell? You're almost a spell. Lingering friends. I wonder if I'm ever supposed to pop the dart off there. Some at 12. I just don't know if that's ever worth it. Oh, well, hello. We're certainly going to pop the dart off now. I'm gonna go ahead and lightning bolt them too. I think this might be my one turn to get some damage through. Might get them low enough that a couple of burn spells plus the bitter blossom wins. So we've got them to eight. Really looking to draw a Bedlam Reveler. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. This is what we refer to on the farm as a problem. Bedlam? Oh, well that was very good. Well, that might have been what you called amazing. Oh, well, this match doesn't seem very well for us. Good for us. Very well for us. Is very well for us a word? 
This match doesn't seem very well. Wait, they're just done. Wait, opponent, come back. I wonder if that messes the bot up. This does not mess the bot up. Neat. Huh. I'm surprised they didn't want to play that match. I figured that match was good for them. A lot of token stuff. There's only three matches out, so I guess we get to set here and uh, be bored for a few minutes. The best part of streaming events that are Swiss. Go check my DraftKings. See if Gordon has logged on to deny all of my trades. They have not. Two outstanding matches. Let's see how I was playing in this event. We got Batuinfa. I assume I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but one of the first people on MTGO that I idolized and like tried to steal all of their 4 0 decks <clears throat> was wildly good. Um, Goblin Lackey, another good player, LSN, someone, a name I recognize, Ak, some, a name I recognize, Bones, a name I recognize, Willie Edel, 1 0. Gracias, or Tanto, is that how you pronounce her name? 1 0, though, very good player, I know. Caratidum, uh, probably pronounced that wrong too. Also 1 0, also a regular in Yamas chat. Lord Beerus, probably streaming. <clears throat> you bully the Nammer Squats, probably hitting them up with that infect. Peanut Brittle, Mr. Sam, the amazing. Sandy Dog, this is, uh, 33 minutes into the round, so I assume Sandy Dog's not winning because I assume they're playing Burn or the Burn Prowess Hybrid. Uh, Magus. I don't know what Magus is playing, a Wing to Star. Wing to Star generally plays combo y things. I think they stream now, too. Let's see how many of these people are streaming. 
Oh, I can advertise for them. Oh, wow, SCG Live's on. I am, I am so amazing when it comes to the timing of my streams. Really hope I can mute this before it makes sound. Um, yeah, Beerus is streaming. Wait, Yama's not in here? That's kind of weird. See if winged or anybody. Googling streaming. Jeff has something posted about, uh, exclamation mark next open this weekend, but like, they're in sub only chat, so how the hell do you tell what that is? Oh, Sandy won the game too. Proving me wrong at every turn that I say anything. Guess we can pop this arena thing up and see what uh, this jumpstart stuff costs. Oh, apparently we have a very large download. Well, this probably wasn't a good idea.
Yeah. Evan Whitehouse has stepped down from Team Lotus Box. That's two people in two weeks. Plus, they booted somebody. Um, interesting. Okay, now it's five gigs. Lovely. Well, there's just no way I'm doing five gigs on stream. Now, what is this? Oh, it's going to pop up. Right? Wait, I just said no. Silly arena. I think I chose poorly to stream a Swiss event. I need to find a little Flash game.
Hey, Sandy lost game too quick. That's weird. Swiss events suck. Swiss events suck. Suck, I say. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, somebody followed me 23 minutes ago. Why do I not get alerts? I've had several people follow me today, and I did not even say thank you. Um, thank you, Aliseed or Noah. Um, thank you, Giov Giovanni, and thank you, Batuintha. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing that very poorly. I'm so sorry if I am. But thank you all. I appreciate the follows. Apparently, my alerts are not working. Those were all like 37 to 20 minutes ago. I guess I should pop up the deck list, too. Well, it's too late now. There's only a minute left. Wow. I am really bad at the streaming thing. Using my cell phone to take a picture of Batuin for following me. So that makes me happy. Again, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong.
17 seconds. A lot of solid players to get fired versus. Someone I do not recognize. It does not mean they're bad or anything. Just someone I don't recognize. Tantalit! Obviously with like a removal spell of some kind, but... Uh, his hand is significantly less lit. Versus someone that quickly kept seven cards on Tron. We have what in most games would be a turn three kill, but unfortunately they'll have Tron by then. And we have no outs to turn two kill at all. Wow, that is a interesting key. That was a seven card keep, too. It was just like quick. Huh. Well, hello, Blood Moon. Hello, Blood Moon. Hello, things that destroy um, artifacts, even though this doesn't come up that often. Goodbye, our friendos. And I've never played with the two Blood Moons in this deck before, so I'm not actually sure what other two cards I'm going to sideboard out. It's probably going to be like a Firebolt and something. This is the first time i played with a fourth creature in the deck too, so maybe it'll just be um, a Runaway Steamkin and a Firebolt on the draw, and then I'll bring the Steamkin back in on the play over like the braid maybe I think I'd rather have the steam gun than that There's not too many things we actually want to use the artifact kill on especially on the draw on the play I think I'll bring them back in because I can kill expedition maps on the draw we're really just trying to get an oblivion stone some of the time Can't read my friend Sean's messages at the moment. Uh, player game first. That's a good draw. Could be too slow. Uh, not entirely too slow. Well, that's kind of interesting. So, let's assume they add nothing relevant to the board. We attack them for one that's 19 this turn. Then we attack them for two next turn. So, 17. Um, and this would put them at 14, 10. Plus, this would put them at 6. We had a Metamorphos in our hand. I might have played this. Because we would have definitely been able to Blood Moon on the following turn. But we might not be able to Blood Moon like this, so. Walking Melissa. Okay, it blocks. It 
blocking doesn't really do much now. Love to draw a land. It's not a land. Mm -hmm. So we play the other crash through and try to hit a land. The crash through adds plus four. We hit the land after that it adds plus seven, so eleven, seventeen, that's not enough anyway. Let's make sure all that math's right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, it's not enough either way. So I think I'm going to go with the light up to stage. Land, please. Thank you. Now, do I want to peg the walking ballista or not? I think I'm fine with it. So next turn, if they have like a worm coil engine, we can crash through, attack with everything, uh, smash the worm coil. They have a Karn, it gets a little more difficult. And Golos doesn't really do anything, so that's fine. It's exactly 13 damage. So let's have a Radiant Fountain, we don't care. Didn't need the lava spike, like this was enough to win. Alright, well we certainly have enough time now to play probably one or two mana traders. Make sure I've not minimized it. Alright, open it up. Baf, Batuinfa. I really want to be curious how it's pronounced. Um, he streams. I could ask sometime. Fills up a game. Uh, where are you at, Namor? Namor? Namor lost, ooh. It was a quick loss, too. So we're looking... Oh, this is a very strong opponent. Very strong opponent. Oh, well, they're double queuing a modern league. Good luck, have fun. We will play first. Uh, I'll gamble. I don't know what they're playing. I often mulligan hands like this because if they have a removal spell and the light up the stage doesn't land, and or the light up the stage doesn't hit a land, like the game's pretty bad for us. But. Mulliganing a bunch means they could be Tron, could be E Tron, could be Dredge, could just be running poorly. Who knows? Uh, seems like it was Dredge. 
This was one of our very, 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 very bad matches. No block arena, please. Unfortunate. One of the only ways to win this match game one is um, to have a Kiln Fiend and a Crash, which clearly not working out well for me. Yeah. I wonder how popular that card is. But yeah, this is one of our super bad matches. And in game two, we just have to mulligan into a Graft Digger's cage and hope it's good enough. Uh... No one donates to the stream. I, I took the donation tab away. I don't stream enough to get donated to. Uh, it's a snap mulligan, even though the Kiln Fiend is often good enough, but... Pretty quick keep. Get rid of you. Second Graft Digger's Cage is really nice. Let's go ahead and play it on one. Uh, don't know what they could have. Like, plays a little bit around the Shriekhorn, but... Uh, I mean, I am, but I'm, I'm still not going to stream a lot. Like, I'm not going to put a lot of hours into it, and I'm not going to have a giant schedule. Second cage is really nice, because they often mulligan until they have one thing. Third cage is obviously really nice. But, but I am going to stream some more. You'll never know, Mark. It is a secret. No one, no one is allowed to give me anything. My opponent actually hasn't hit very well this game. That's not good for me. I'd like to draw a removal spell, please. Any lightning bolt? That's not a lightning bolt. Run it back. That's probably just enough to win. So we're attacking for 14. They're blocking 2. Oh, okay, they're conceding. I, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't let me attack. <laughs> I was like, let me attack, please. Ah right, well, drawing multiple Graft Digger's Cage, often good versus the Dredge. Um, do I want to sideboard anything different from the play to the draw? Those Lava Darts aren't that good with Graft Digger's Cage, but they do like kill Narc Amoebas. I think I'll bring the Firebolt back in on the draw. Well, I think I have to keep because of the Graft Digger's Cage, though, you know, we're light on lands, and we don't have a Killing Fiend, we don't have the thing that gives Trample, but I don't think I can mulligan one cage at all. Uh, I am not. I don't actually have a lot of burn spells in my deck. And most of the burn spells I do use, uh, or that I do have, I usually use at uh, clearing the way for my creatures. 
this is kind of an interesting turn. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play this and hope that they don't kill my cage. Though I do think there's an argument that I should have played, could have played double mana Morphos trying to dig for a second cave. I do have, there is a uh, Chandra's Incinerator build that I want to try that I've not tried yet. But it's a little more on the burn side. I'm just playing the straight prowess build today. I'm playing this build. The old classic. But I definitely want to try Chandra's Incinerator. I think this card's good. And it's kind of cheap in paper, which excites me. And then, I think this build's got potential too. But I'm just, at the moment, just kind of getting a little bit back into it. Playing more what I know than anything else. Alright. Well... We'll try to find another land here. If I find the land... Mm, interesting. Alright, well I'm just, I'm just going kind of all the way in. Just want to land. Do I want to bland badly enough to cast Lava Dart and light up the stage, or do I just want to play Soulscar Mage and Monastery? I think this is a hard call. I think there's a very good chance our Cage dies this turn, so we need to do a lot of damage on the following turn, but... also feel like I need a third land on the following turn. So the problem is if I cast, if I do the Lava Dart light up the stage and then miss the land, can I win the game? I don't know if I can win the game if I, if I make that line and miss. So I'm going to take the safer route with the significantly less upside. Like, significantly less upside. Yep, this is a problem. I thought they'd kill that this turn. I need to really draw a land now. Back to 20. That was casual gain 6. Man, we didn't hit our land, so. Probably game. And we wouldn't hit our land anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter, but. Maybe they'll get a horrible dredge. It's pretty impossible for them to get a horrible dredge. They already have the flag in the graveyard. Though, the flags. Pretty good. It can get all of our things. No, it can't get all of our things. You get one thing left over no matter what. I don't know, we'll just have to see and hope. Well, like I said, this is definitely a bad match. Getting stuck on... Couldn't afford to get stuck on one land game one. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Because they can also use the Ox now. When the Ox gets some half their deck.
Takes a while to click the card you're escaping. They gained a third life. Or they've gained a ninth life, rather. Sorry, I misspoke. I'm going to look for the land again. Um... Hopefully they don't have a second way to kill this. It's actually not that bad for us. Do desperately need a land. We did not find said land. Hmm. Could kill this, just play this and attack. Pretty much have to block next turn. Hey Murph, what's up? Pretty much losing. You know, the usual. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That's also unfortunate. So... We basically know... That in these last nine cards, there is one more creeping chill. So they have like a 50% chance to hit it unless it's in their hand. So I think I'm just going to attack and try to hit a mountain. For the lightning bolt. I don't think I win this game without that. Like just holding up the lightning bolt, I doesn't think I don't think wins. Don't actually think anything wins, but yeah. All right, well we're dead. GG. That's a bad match, and we struggled on lands both games we lost. We got stuck on a one lander, and then, as you saw, we were 18 cards deep in our deck before we found our third land. Which sucks. How many losses do I have now? Need to win six in a row. Doesn't seem likely. We'll get us another opponent. That's his own fault that he hates Pioneer. He plays a deck that's never even been close to Tier 1.
If all you care about is winning, and you don't play any deck that's reasonable, you're clearly not going to have much fun. Concede. Can I just concede match? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I win. Let's try this again. Wait, what? No? Third time's the charm? There we go. At least the decks he plays in modern are reasonable, right? Like it, you, you can't really argue that Tron or Etron and uh, Red Green are at least they're at least tier two. That mono white deck's not even tier two. Hey, it's not a mirror. You don't play those in this deck. FYI, I don't have removal. I'm not going to win. Don't really have a way to get cards out of my hand either. The grinders that are triple and quad queuing can't always play the best deck. Like, you can't really go play Sultai Snow or Bant Snow if you're going to be playing four queues. Anamorphos? Yep. Well, I'm taking a big hit. You can play something a little bit more meta though, like like that mono white deck's just a lot worse than vampires. Just play vampires if you want to win that match. I need to try to prevent any damage that I can. Hmm. 
Converter's definitely not easy. Well, the mirrors are quite interesting. In my opinion, but what does my opinion matter? Rip. I don't have another land. But I can't really afford to give up five damage either. Game one of the mirrors kind of suck. I won't deny that. Game one of the mirrors are not great. Have four things in our graveyard. Oh, that's not good for me. He met the third Manamorphos. Rip. Well, I don't have an out here, do I? <laughs> yep. Oh, well. We gotta start drawing more than two lands a game. So we want you, we want all of you, I think we want all of you as well, but definitely don't want any lava spikes, definitely don't want any kiln fiends. Do I actually want these shrines? Try one, but I don't think I want either. Wait. I don't want the shrine. I don't want either shrine. I don't think the shrines are good enough. Three matches. These prowess games can sometimes be super grindy if a couple of dragon thingies come out. Uh, yeah, this is a keep. Well... Kind of already mulligan, but we have enough removal that I'm going to keep it.
played the second land here specifically to make them potentially not try a lightning bolt. I want to light up the stage to resolve. And it really only punishes me if I hit exactly two lands. Or in this case, I take an extra point of damage, but... I'm not sure taking the extra point of damage is relevant to how I'm supposed to play the turn, rather. Well, next turn I can cash a, cast a Bedlam Reveler. Three cards in my graveyard. I'll have the fifth land even if I don't find an Abraid target. But hopefully we'll find an Abraid target. We found an Abraid target. Now they do play mutagenic growths and stuff, so I'm probably going to take the one point of damage. Is I better do this post combat because of that? This is a three row to play. That's unfortunate. It's also not really that bad. It's two prowess triggers. Then we have the firebolt we can flash back. Targeting me. Okay. Guess they drew a lot up the stage. No, they drew that. Interesting. Probably gonna cast as many spells as I can now. Yeah, three three could be good. Actually, I think it's good in stand or good in. Uh, I think these blue red decks are good. I guess is what I was trying to say. I don't care so much about these lands or I wouldn't be doing the plays I'm doing. So they have a mutagenic growth as well, maybe? Pay two life if they do. Okay. Wait, I can't see the card I drew. Apparently I should have played this the entire time. Oh well, we tried. Be happy to trade either of these for that. If they weren't so low on resources, I probably don't make plays like this.
But they have to chump block now. Well, I guess it's not a chump block if they have a growth, but... Oh, apparently I can't do math. I thought they were dead if I made that play. My bad. I could have killed myself then. I could have been really silly and killed myself. Because I did bad math. I thought we forced them to jump block. Whoops. Force is rumored to be in Double Masters. Is Double Masters going to be modern legal? Or Pioneer or anything? I need a third Volcanic Island in paper. I'm at six right now. Oh, that killed me. Oh no, never mind. They can't use the blood steam wire. <laughs> huh? I have nineteen or twenty duels. I only have two volks, though. So. Let's see. I have three C's. Two of them are definitely near me at really good shape. I have. Uh, three tropicals, two volks, two tundras, four savannas, uh, one badlands, one plateau. Thanks, what I have. The badlands could arguably be graded too. Oh, and I got taiga as well. I have two sets of fetches. I have a con set and a uh, onslaught set. Two sets of shock, the originals and the newest. I don't have the mid set. Uh, this hand's good enough to keep, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm probably going to keep it. I don't have enough removal here, but like I really don't want a mulligan. I have a Zendikar set too. I don't have a second set of the Zendikars. My bad. I only own the Zendikars. I don't have any of the new arts or anything of those. Really like to have just drawn a lightning bolt and not a one drop. I think the one drops are terrible, but when uh, when your opponent can't interact with them, then they get kind of amazing. This is going to be really hard for me to win this match. What is VIP Masters? Well, they didn't F6, so I guess they drew the growth. Yeah, they drew the growth. That's bad for me. Oh, the $100 yellow packs. I thought they promised that they would reprint them in standard packs. I don't think that would count, would it? Oh, we are not going to do well this game.
I need to draw a mountain, I guess? I thought they did, but I could be wrong. Some five down to eleven. Oh no, never mind, they could play another spell even. No other spell, I guess at least that's good. Desperately need a mountain. It's not a mountain. That is. A lot of things just kill me next turn. There's nothing I can do about any of them. A second mutagenic growth. Yep, we're dead. I would have sideboarded mutagenic growth out in this match, so it's kind of weird. Like, I'm kind of surprised I lost to it. I guess if they draw badly enough, we could still win. Like, say the last card in their hand is a blank, and they draw a blank. Then we can still win, but... You know, if they have even one spell, we can't win. And they have, you know, a draw step plus this. They have three cards here, and if any of them is a spell they can cast, we lose. Like a non-creature spell, I'll rephrase. They're attacking full mall, they hit a lightning bolt or a lava dart and the game's over. I think they said they wouldn't be Zendikar cards, though. I think that's something else they said, but who knows? There's so many rumors going around it, it's hard to tell what's what. Okay, so that's interesting. If they don't attack with that, does that mean they don't have a spell? I'm blocking either way, right? So any spell kills us. Well, I guess an opt wouldn't kill us. Oh, wow. It turns out they didn't have anything. It, they, they shouldn't have attacked with everything then. Why did they attack with everything and leave themselves dead on board? Just cast the one thing and leave all the blockers. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep. There's enough hands that this is good versus... Stop putting the stack down there. I've moved you a bunch of times. So let's go over here and check. 
Okay, it did count my win. Nice. Well, as you can see, our hand is absolute trash. And we're probably versus Grixis Death Shadow now. Awesome! A fifth land. That's where we want to be. Well, it's at nine. Bonus of 12. Well, I didn't even look at that. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not going to mulligan. Opponent's at 10. Probably can't beat this clean for the dust. Eh, JK opponents at 11. Well, it's also fairly slow. It's weird that they didn't shock. Ah, well, no magic was played this game by us. I always wonder if these are good enough to bring in here. Do this Shadow decks now still play Gurmag Angler? I assume so, right? So I assume I need to dismember? What kinds of time walk decks? What if they bring anything? Um, like any of braids or anything? They probably have Colligan's Command at the very least. I don't think I want these then. Maybe I want these? I'll try these. Astrolabe should just not be legal in any magic format that's not limited or, hell, I'll say vintage. Vintage is fine. It's another bad hand, but we can't have everything we want. I'm not going to mulligan versus a discard deck. Not if I have a playable hand. We're just going to have to hit a Bedlam Reveler at the right time. It's pretty much what it comes down to. It is not fine in Legacy. It should not be legal in Legacy whatsoever, and neither should Oko. I thought they said they would be. I guess they said maybe a standard set. I don't know. You can, you're, you're probably right. Well, if opponent has no discard spell and has no removal spell, we'll get them. Kappa Kappa. 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 I'm 
Oh no, my friend. I want to put a mutagenic growth in this deck. Cause like, how good would a mutagenic growth be over one of these bad lightning bolt or bad burst lightnings or firebolts? I guess I should pass here. I thought some of the best, uh, in fact, I think every best standard format of all time basically had fetches. But standard didn't cost too much. That's just a fallacy. Like, you could buy blue cons fetches for $15 and under. And even when you bought them for $15, you knew later you were going to be able to get all of your money back. Whereas, like, say you go buy a Teferi now. I'll say it's worth $25. I don't know what it's worth. At some point, your Teferi is a $15 card or a $10 card. Do I kill this? Or do I save it all for their face? It's like 13 damage. Whatever. I'm going to try to get lucky. I think we're so far behind that just like throwing 5 damage at that says I'm losing. AKA, I think I'm losing this match either way. This didn't have the right draws. Was Just Guy Black a really $1,100? How much was Jace back then? So 400 of it was Jace. If it was $1,100, that would have been by mid prices, right? And mid prices are like super high. Like uh, Corbin, the, the guy from... Uh, one of those Braincast brewery, brewery, Breweries, or whatever, the podcast was talking about it the other day. And he was like, no. And he linked me something, and he was like, no, you couldn't get fetches for as cheap as you said you could. And I'm like, yeah, maybe not on TCG, and maybe not if you look at mid-prices, but I was buying them every week in paper at that price. Like, don't tell me I couldn't get them for the price I said I can get them. And you could get uh, you could get non-blue ones for under ten there for a while. Yeah, I don't think fetches were at any point even close to thirty the entire time Jessica Black was legal. I'm not sure they got back to twenty. Maybe they did. Maybe I'm just wrong. Let 
Maybe the first time I was wrong about something. Well, if we do get a game three, we want to take the Blood Moons out because they were getting, they did get some basics. So just attack with both. I feel like if they had a removal spell, they would have already attacked me. I'm going to try to get damage in while I potentially can. This could be wrong, though, because, like, now drawing light up the stage doesn't do anything. It feels to me like if they had a removal spell, they would have been attacking. So they attack this time, they clearly have something. Probably a Snapcaster Mage if they took the time to attack. Which means I should have attacked pre-combat, because now they can block. Yeah, that's a play mistake. That's whatever. It's actually a real play mistake, too. So now they can block this, kill this. Yep. What would that be if we were going into game three? That'd just be a lava spike and we'd have won? Oh well. Well, might not have won. I mean, they could have a removal. Or a counter, rather. Ah, well, GG. Don't know if I played that game well. Uh, apparently I didn't sideboard it well at all. But, it's whatever. Let's go back to our other thing. I'm confident that the entire time that Jeskai Black was legal, Fetch has never got back to 30. I don't even think they're back to 30 now, are they? Pretty sure they're not even back to 30 now. No, the last foil I traded was only even 50. Here we go. Hands good. Have a removal, have a creature. Um, we don't want to see a discard deck with this hand, but... Pretty reasonably happy with nearly anything else.
Yeah, it seems like the fetches are definitely just going to be in the Zendikar Collector boosters, though. Why are we stuck him up, Keep? What trickery are you up to? Probably have a fatal push or something, but... Are they having paper magic where you live right now, Murph? Like, I know, I know you're like a big racist, sexist Trumper. I just don't know if the area you live in is mostly like that. I assume they are. I assume the area you come from doesn't care about masks or COVID. That's right. I threw politics in. You go politics. I'm actually the least political person in the world. I was just trying to be funny. I think I failed at even being funny. One star. I am I am pretty big on people shouldn't be getting together though. That part of it wasn't a joke. Why do you counterspell this one and not the other one? I don't think I could be paid to go to a paper event. Definitely not before 2021 and probably longer than that. Oh crap. Has everybody got clean to dusk? That card's so hard for me to beat. I feel like I'm already dead. They didn't have another land and they chose to cling over draw a card. Or sorry, to gain three over draw a card. And that is kind of wild to me. Like I said, we wanted to see a non... Well, I said discard deck, but I meant non-black spells. Go ahead and pop that. It's definitely a bit on the slow side.
targeting to cling. Weird. Is your baby Nexus? If it is, I wouldn't have banned it in either. I'm just curious. Nexus probably needed to get banned once they nerfed Gruul, though. Like, I don't, I'm not sure anything beat Nexus other than Red Deck wins and Gruul. So they tried, they gained another three instead of drawing a card, and got rid of what I considered the best card in their graveyard. Her opponent apparently has a stop on every phase. What is this? Wait, what? I'm apparently playing the wrong opponent. Am I really playing the wrong opponent all this time? What the heck? I joined somebody else's thing. Well, this hand's a lot worse, and I was having fun in that other match. Now I'm disappointed. Goblins? I cut out all my Kozilek's returns at the last minute. Well, embarrassed we are. I shouldn't have played my land. That was a mistake. Turns out it doesn't matter, but still shouldn't have did it. Did they really not show a goblin? I guess maybe they didn't need to. I suppose they just not attack now? Oh wow, that was a big mistake. I lost my land there. Just I didn't even... I don't know. I kind of don't think I'm supposed to play the Skokard, Soulscar Mage or attack. Just another Snoop, killing that Snoop doesn't even do anything then. They have three unknowns and a Snoop in hand. Oh, the Crater Maker's pretty brutal. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm super dead.
I don't think I played bad too. I'm supposed to set a stop during the upkeep as well. It would have changed anything. They could have vialed in the other snoop. So I've made a lot of small mistakes this game, but I don't think any of them actually affected the outcome of the game. I'm going to take no damage this turn. And that's going to be game. Nothing I can do about that. Because they have two snoops, right? Can't beat two of them, can I? Yeah, I can't beat two of them, can I? Hello, all of our removal spells. Goodbye, our lava spikes. This smash maybe should be a third of braid. Definitely have to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, this hand is, in fact, a lot more aggressive with more re early removal. Still a ways from our match. Hopefully they can't kill the Kiln Fiend. They can kill the Kiln Fiend, probably. Play something cruddy, please. Uh oh, they have a bunch of removal, apparently.
on Moro Moto? I have no idea. No idea at all. I think I have to leave the lightning bolt up. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Let's see what happens this turn. My opponent has a million spells. You know what sucks for me. And there's nothing I can do about the munitions expert. Uh, things aren't going my way. Uh, not what I want to see. I guess at the end of the turn I try to dump everything I have. Suppose I start with this. Probably kill this too. Have two unknowns in their hand. I think they can win this turn. And the next turn we can bedlam. Well, we actually technically can't bedlam next turn, but... Another munitions expert? Oh, and they can play it while I'm tapped out. It's good. So you get to attack now, which is pretty nice. Land to be nice. Definitely going to attack this turn. Probably don't die. Oh. 
Hard to die now, with them only having one card in hand. Don't care what they get here. Yeah, don't care if they kill this. So we're dealing five now. This is their block, they're dead. Let's face it, they have to block with a lot to not be dead. Alright, we grinded that game out. They never drew a snoop or anything. Definitely don't want those. I wonder if this is good enough for snoop or whether I just have to rely on removal. I was gonna say rely on removal. One outstanding match over here, so we'll have to try to finish this one up. They've shown that they have infinite removal on their deck, though, so, like, our kill fiends and stuff aren't very good. Which is why I was considering the cage. I don't really want to turn my lava darts off, either. Oh, well, we have a handful of removal, and we have a bedlam reveler. By handful of removal, I mean spells that I really can't even cast, so. Alright, this hand is significantly better. They should make Goblin Lackey legal in Modern. How hot would that be? Who wants some Goblin Lackey action up in this place? Oh, that was my friend. Is that that good versus me? I'm not actually sure. Well, I'll go ahead and use the crash through here. I feel like this is the last turn of this game I'm willing to just stone tap out. They have a land, a snoop, and a bogart out of their two cards plus the card they draw for their turn, then, like, you know, we're dead. It's got to be a land that comes into play and tap two, though, so, like. Alright, well, they have a matron. Matron got a ringleader. Which really makes me think the other card in her hand is a land. Let's see what they have by starting with this. We'll pop that and get three in. Pretty tempted to get this last one in with the Lava Dart, but they did have a land. That sucks for us. I'm just going to pop them here. I don't need that land anyway. This 
There's a chance they draw the card instead of playing the ringleader. Probably have a removal after making this play. Technically have nine damage if they had nothing. I feel like I was supposed to pop to some big canyon there. So they put a worn weirding in their hand. Unfortunate for us. We still have some power here. We need this ringleader to be medium. Somewhere between medium and bad. Wait. Do they have a ringleader that we saw? Have another worn weirding? Uh, that's a slap. I don't know we're close to winning this game now. Alright. Don't need you to be kind of bad. You were at least kind of bad. So any burn spell would win. I think that's our best chance to win. We can draw a lava dart, or lightning firebolt. We can break up the combo if they have it. So on top of their library is that. We do need to keep an eye on their draw step though, don't we? Makes things a lot simpler. Unless they have something I don't know about. Hey, thanks for the follow, Audrey. Sorry, I have no alerts today for some reason. Just getting back into streaming and things aren't set up completely properly yet. As you can see, the, the very ugly screen and all that. I apologize. Right, that did count as a win. Let's go ahead and click that down and we'll see. Oh, our prelim, 19 seconds. Awesome. So who all is into two ones? Edel, Sam, Boland, Namor, Sandy. A lot of a lot of people into two ones. Is that Quirtle? Yeah. Or QB Turtle. I don't know why I always say Quirtle, but whatever. Say what I wanna say, and what I wanna say is probably usually wrong. 
Okay, we want the Dastro versus Ilm Z Blaze. We will play first. So they've been playing Soltak Control. I think this hand's a keep. Like, it's on the weak side, but I don't want a mulligan. Not when I have potentially a lot of extra cards. That's 22 days ago as well. Sand's obviously weak, though. She's got a lot of stuff to throw in the graveyard for hopefully a Bedlam Reveler at some point. Might want to put the fourth Bedlam Reveler in our deck over the Runaway Steamkin. I've seen people force a negate or force a negation on the turn one crash through because often when people play a turn one trash crew or crash through it's because they need another land. So it'd have been awesome if we'd hit that. Unfortunate. Almost every deck that plays Bobble is a um, like discard black, you know, kill a bunch of stuff decks. We immediately get sad as we draw another land. And yet another land. Probably already should have. So this is one of the harder matches. Especially when we don't have the fourth bedlam. Good times. It's technically bad sequencing, but there's not a card I can draw that changes the overall play. Better than just playing Soul Scar Mage. No, Euro's not close to as oppressive as Oko. Not even close. No Liliana would be nice. Awesome. Don't care about that card at all. 
fact, if they want to protect that card, they can't even attack. Pretty sure I'm going to ignore that card if they attack me. I'm just going to take five. And attack them for three, I believe. I could kill this, but, like, do I care? I don't think so. I will try to block a Tarmogoyf, I think. I don't know. It really depends on what they do. I kept the Fiery Isla in my hand in case they, Liliana, make us discard for some reason. But, like, it might be better just being it, having it in play. Also can't imagine I'm going to use that much mana next turn either. But they have six cards in hand now, and they have, like, four lands at minimum. So, feels like this could be bad for me. Hopefully they don't have another Fatal Push or Lightning Bolt. But, very likely do. Let's just go ahead and assume they're at 12. Let's assume they're at 12 and blocking the Kiln Fiend. Or killing the Kiln Fiend, rather. Pretty sure I still go after their head. They can't block the Tarmogoyf anymore. Without it dying. Hmm. So this puts them at six. If I use the lava dart, that's two more, puts them at four. Hmm. Think I'd rather keep my land. In this spot. To flash back the Firebolt. If need be. And I'm not playing my land. Because I don't want them to use like. Colligan's Commander or Mobkeep or something. Maybe people have given up being sad. They're like. Oh well. We can never be happy. Let's just finally learn Inverter. They're never going to get rid of it. Ever. In a million years. We have to. We have to suck it up and play it now. <laughs> so now it's a 5-6. So I can make my guy bigger than theirs. Make my guy seven if I want. They say it's forty nine percent. Could flash back the firebolt on them, putting them at four. Putting this at four. No, I'm pretty sure I just have to attack. They're going to block, and I'm going to have to throw a bunch of stuff at their face. That I don't really want to throw at their face.
I'm gonna go ahead and play the land this turn. Oh! I didn't know they changed the numbers. I just saw somebody top 49% and assumed. Alright, goodbye, our friend. Drawing another one of these will be lit, but. We're also getting ready to get crushed by Ren. One redraw to rule them all? I have to attack the Ren here because it's far too easy for them just to have four lands in that hand and kill us with uh, buying that back next turn. Or, or sorry, what's it called? It's got a keyword. Uh, retracing. Oh, I didn't realize it was a meme. I've tried to avoid Twitter since it got hyper political. So they get to play a Tarmogoyf now. Alright, well, we have a few draws. We actually drone. We've drawn no lightning bolts and no lava darts this match, so. Or, sorry. Lightning bolts and. Alright, we're dead 100%. There's just no way they don't kill us here. So just two lands in hand and we're dead. And we know they have another land than that. They've got the one that lets them sack and draw. We've saw it. Oh well. Wonder if these are good enough. Definitely bringing in this. I don't really want any of these lava spikes. I don't actually think these are very good either, but I think they're better than Lava Spikes. This is the type of match that I desperately want to fourth Bedlam Reveler. And a second dismember for that matter. We're on the back foot now. While well, the match is still going, we'll probably be able to get a side game in. We'll play first. Yep, the sand's very good. Get the tink for one, no matter what. And because, unless they have a discard spell, we also get the swift spear into a light up the stage, which is awesome. Hopefully, they just have like one removal or something.
Oh, that sucks. They know we have the Blood Moon. Them knowing about this is a bit of a dagger. It's going to be interesting next turn. Like, am I supposed to get the lightning bolt value or am I supposed to just jam this? JK. Looks like we don't get the option. What my stack over here? I didn't play this too. We're just looking for a Bedlam Reveler. That's why I'm playing that. I feel like we're just like clearly getting Fatal Push this turn. Like they shocked and stuff. Like there's no way they didn't have another removal. The 6-7. Yeah, well, we desperately need a Blood Moon now. If they attack, that means they probably have a second one. That's interesting. What's in their hand then? Is this just a lightning bolt? Let's hope. No, it's an assassin's trophy. Alright, well, we don't have long to draw anything of value. Opponents at 9. At 6 with our two lava darts. I'm not sure about drawing a Bedlam Reveler how we get by. A Bedlam Reveler might not be good enough. This certainly won't be good enough, but... It's the only play we have, so we have to try. Down to two and two. How round we have enough for another game, I think. So load up to old mana traders. Go find an opponent. 
see if we can not mess it up this time. We're seven and two in mana traders with this deck. So our losses today have been versus Grixis Delver, Jund, and Dredge. Just three matches you know you're unfavored versus before they even start. Our wins have been versus a variety of decks. Uh, Tron. A blue red prowess, um, Ponza. It's a decent amount of different decks. Still waiting on an opponent. Uh, hopefully we'll get one soon. Keep an eye out over here. I just got an email from eBay that says for Jurel um, for sale, and that uh, that it's listed by an experienced seller, and it's my own listing. Thanks, eBay. Appreciate it. Nice looking out. That is not the opponent that we're supposed to play. Yeah, that is not the right opponent. See ya, opponent. This one is. Hit him with that good luck, have fun. Hands pretty solid. Again, we're just hoping not to play versus decks that have swamp. Pretty bad versus Chalice, too. They kept seven lands. Or seven cards, so that's generally a bad sign. Hopefully it's Big Tron and not Eldrazi Tron. Wrapped opponent, you could get the move on. Thank you. Well, we're likely one on the play.
We're not 100% dead. Depends on whether they have worm coil or whether they have Karn. You can beat Karn. Probably can't beat worm coil. You can beat Blast Zone. Yeah, like I said, probably can't beat worm coil. There's nothing we can really do. Take you, we'll take you. We'll bring in you. Get rid of these. See how the other tournament's going. Eight. If we lose this round, we might be able to try to sneak another in. Well, hopefully, we'll at least win game two. Play first. Uh, the sand's weak, but I'm going to keep it. We're going to hope this light up the stage finds us what we need. They have Leyline of Sanctuary in their Tron deck. It's weird. And they got to keep seven cards two games in a row. That's even worse for me. No Tron land? It's weird. I don't care too much about Leyland. There's honestly not a lot of burn in these decks. And they clearly are in this particular spot, but... You go over here. Stay over there, please. More weird. Well, these are kind of good draws. Well, we would have killed opponent, but pretty happy getting on the seven.
Some power plants. Deflate a power plant. That's not cool. So Smash the Smithereens is the big card we need to draw. Or just a Balaam Raveler. Two tries of Smash though. I'm assuming they're going to get uh, a tower, yeah. Oh, frag us. Unfortunate. I guess we're dead. We basically have to have Blood Moon now. I can't think of anything that actually wins anymore. Assuming that the four cards in their hand are even reasonable. Yeah, that's one we can't really beat. We have to have Smash. And a walking Ballista, too. Oh well, the ley line's got us. Four outstanding matches. I don't know if it's worth it to play another at this moment then. Hmm. They're all 1-1. One, one. Nope, these guys are worth and yeah, maybe we can get another one in without the duo queue. Really just like duo queuing. Especially on stream. Oh, we're down to three now. I think we'll wait. Check out Twitter and see if there's any drama. Mongolian teen dies of bubonic plague. I wonder if that's the one that they talked about a week or two ago that got infected, or if this is a different one.
so we got one match outstanding still, and they're 1-1. One, one. Uh, the games took 10 and 14 minutes, so it's, could be a while. See what other people are streaming then that I follow. Got some TFT streamers. Spox playing Esper Sharkblade. It's a Dono deck apparently. Apparently Twitch Rivals stuff starts soon. Today's Thursday, right? Which means I won't be back till Monday. There's a bunch of events this weekend that I need to try to remember what are. There's some MTJ Melee thing. Let's see if I can figure out what events there are this weekend. So there's this thing. It starts at 3 a.m. I'm just not even going to play that. What else is there? I think there's a Mythic Society thing. So today is the 16th. So this weekend, oh, it actually just says by date. So yeah, there's a set constructed thing this weekend. And there's this thing at 7 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna play it. Format is it? Oh, it's historic. So it's historic with the new rules. I don't even want to think about what a historic with the new rules deck looks like. Does anybody have one? Um, there's some other things this weekend. I still don't know what they are. Oh, there's this thing. This thing probably has absurd equity. There's 12 people in it right now. And it's a $500 event. But you have to pay for their Patreon. I think it is. I think, this, I think the Mythic Society events are... If you have Amazon Prime, it's, in my opinion, definitely worth it. So it's $10 to play that. So like the Mythic Society events, uh, let me go back to them. Uh, here we go. So every week they have a Monday trial. And uh, the Monday trials... If you go 4 and 0, you get $35 store credit to their website. If you go 3 and 1, you get $5. Every Thursday, they also have that. Or sorry, every uh, two times a week, they have that. So, like, this week it was Monday and Thursday. And then they have the set constructed on the weekend. The next week it is um, Monday and Wednesday. And then on the 26th, it's a 1K Historic. So at the end of the month, there's a 1K Historic. And you get all that for your $5. But 
But it's store credit, so you'd have to look through their website and stuff to see if there's things you wanted. I think they only ship to the continental U.S., maybe? But don't quote me on that. Again, that's something you need to look at for yourself. Oh, yeah. Items purchased will ship only to the U.S. and Canada. But, yeah. So, you get... You know, I assume next month will be the same. I don't know that next month will be the same. But, like, if you played this month, or if you had it this month, you got 10 events for your $5. So. So, I usually give them my Prime subscribe subscription. I feel like there's something else this weekend that I'm supposed to play. Even if you just want to play the 1K every month, like, how often do you get to play a $5 1K? Uh, this sounds a key. What the heck is this? 510... Created step trigger only opponents. What? Keeping. But I don't know what that means and it's confusing. Could be a discard deck. Hopefully they can't kill the Kiln Fiend, because that's all we have right now. Kiln Fiend in our graveyard, that's unfortunate. Nothing else in our graveyard that matches our hand, so extra freight and surgical extraction aren't concerning. Just this Kiln Fiend surviving is. Would have loved to just saw them play like Hedron Crab and another glimpse. That, that probably kills us. The fact that we have actual no gas going on right now. Guess I'm supposed to kill that? I don't really know. I don't think they play counter spells, so I'm just going to pretend like they don't. There's still 20, which is a problem. Oh, weird. They shocked. That's kind of weird, too. What they shocked for? I 
I guess they could be playing mission briefing and are shocking the fatal push this. Or maybe they're just looking to like crypt incursion at the end of turn. Not actually sure. Probably should have done that pre-combat. Okay. So I'm never going to leave a sunbake cannon in play because of archive trap filled. They gained a bunch of cards there. Now keep an eye on this Shell Dock Owl. Well, maybe we don't, actually. They didn't mission briefing glimpse me, which is weird. In my opinion, anyway. One card on top of the graveyard. Wonder what that one is. It's gotta be mill me for a bunch, right? What else would you keep? Said I wasn't gonna do this and I immediately do it. If we win this game, that'd be pretty awesome, especially as poorly as we've done up until now. Is that what they kept? It's an odd one to keep. That sucks for me. Yeah, that really sucks for me. Because that means they get this shell dock all now.
be interesting to see what this last card in their hand is. Or, last card under the shell dock is. Tag him for way more than 20, so they need something. Could be a removal spell for this. So I have a lethal attack next turn, so they need something again. Canvas is a is a deck. Yeah, Canvas can uh, can make a comeback now. All right. Well, we got game one. All right. So, what do we want to do versus them now, then? Um, this seems reasonable, this seems reasonable, this seems reasonable, and these seem reasonable. Yeah, Ovenissa is very good in that deck. Blood Moons actually seem kind of reasonable as well. They don't have a lot of basic mountains. But that's the type of card I'd rather play on the draw than to play. So, what do we sideboard out? Hmm. Is it just like one or two of everything? Is it like one lava dart, one lava spike, one burst lightning or something like that because of the surgicals? It's probably not right. You can probably find five bad cards. I think Bedlam's still fine. Definitely not getting rid of Metamorphose or Light Up. Don't want to get rid of any of the creatures. Could just be Lava Spikes. And like one Burst Lightning, I guess. Wait. Are you playing... I, when you said that, I thought you meant Historic. Are you talking about... Uh, are you talking about Pioneer? Is this hand to keep? We don't hit our second land. I guess we just lose, so I'm going to mulligan. Uh, this hand's better than the last hand, so I'm going to keep this one. We'll get rid of you. The crash through is why I'm keeping this one. Yeah, Pioneer, okay. We'll drew the worst card in the deck for the spot we're in. Ah, yeah, well. We mulliganed a one lander into a one lander with a cantrip on the draw and just never found a second land. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna be sad about it when it does, but it's gonna happen.
still have at least one removal. They could have a collective brutality too. Fatal push plus brutality would kind of suck, but. Archive traps being really bad versus me gives us a lot of extra time. I'm willing to deal just one damage here. I don't think I want that. We're just right to abrade that. The fourth spell, if it resolves. They gusted, I would probably put this one on top. So it's the four spells, we're at seven right now. Okay. Don't have delirium, so that's good for us. That's good draws, I guess. So we've got three cards in hand, and none of them are really lands. So they've been missing land drops, like we're on turn seven. So all three of these are non-lands. Good chance one of them is a drown in the lock, or a way to get a drown in the lock back. I'm gonna hit a few lands here. Shouldn't have played that, that was wrong to play. Should have played a mountain. I highly doubt they still have archive traps, but they could. They could definitely just feel disregardless of archive traps or not. And maybe they have to leave archive traps in. Like, maybe they can't win without them. 
So they didn't cast anything, and then they drew land land. Interesting. So Lava Dark in my graveyard that I need to keep an eye on. No, fire dart in my graveyard as well. Fire bolt. I don't know why I said fire or fire dart. But... Having a braid for either a creature and then snaring bridge or a mesmeric orb or something. Play this, see how this goes. So we're practically at seven. They could have Crypt Inclusion. We gotta worry about that. <laughs> they probably should have Cling to Dust. The card I'll have to continue to worry about. Alright, they drew a non spell this turn. Which makes me think they have quite a few removal in their hand. I sequenced that wrong, but it's fine. Oh, I wasn't thinking about Visions of Beyond. Maybe I should have kept better count on my graveyard. Yeah, I should have probably kept a better count on my graveyard. Let's play air by me. It's a little whoopsie by me. Have two cards in their hand now. We only hit one lava spot. Could have a serious problem. Well, shoot. So we're down to 18 cards when we draw. So two glimpses kill us. 
I played this game bad from the beginning. I deserve to lose. Was it nineteen? Still not hit a lava spot for me. Or a lava dart. There's only two left on the deck though. Still not one. They have 15 damage, assuming they have nothing. Gotta spend two of it on their thing, though, so that's 13. That's 15. Well, I wonder what their last two cards are. That are fetching to mill me to potentially hit me another lava dart, or do they have another crypt incursion? This is 12. Well, we'll hit them for as much as we can, but it's going to be hard to finish them off now. Especially if the last card in their hands is anything worthwhile. And they have an archive trap, so we'll concede. But, I mean, we came close. We got them to five. Through two crypt incursions. Okay, um, do I want these now? This is a rather long game, and they didn't show me an ensnaring bridge, they didn't show me Mas Mir Miracle Herb. So, like, maybe I don't want to smash anymore? Pretty sure I still want all the creatures. Maybe the blood moons just aren't very good. Lava spikes just be better. We're just trying to get them dead. I see the argument that these shrines aren't as good as I once thought they were either. Pretty sure I'm going to keep the shrines though.
I don't want to do that. Better have the ones that can kill the crabs. Alright, we're just not going to try the blood moves. Alright, well this is for all the marbles. Like $36 or something. Alright, this hand's about as good as it gets. Is it a tapped watery grave or a shell dock owl? That's what we want to see. That is not what we wanted to see. So definitely don't want to see a collector brutality. They went through over 30 cards last game and didn't have one, so they might not even have them. Definitely going to go all in to Manamorphose and a Crash Through this turn. Even if there's only one creature left in play. Much higher chance that they have a Drown no Lock than any of that. So chances I should have played my land and crash root first, but So they almost definitely have a drown in the lock here. They've not F six. They're taking quite a while under plays even. So do I put them at seven or do I use the lava dart? I think I'm just gonna use the lava dart. Save the lightning bolt in case they play a manic scribe. Next turn the lightning bolt into Bedlam Reveler gets us to uh Or the lightning boat in our lands rather gets us to the Bedlam Reveler out of their way. It's actually kind of interesting. Uh, I gotta see how I hold priority on Modo, I forget. I think it's uh, Alt Control. Oh, it's just a control key. Never mind. Because if I play the lightning bolt, then this, there's a chance that they can drown in the lock. But this way, I want to make sure I can uh, lightning bolt on the trigger. So we're trying to turn off this polluted delta.
If I have another fatal push, that'll be a super dagger, but... Uh, we can still cast the Bellum Reveler next turn either way. So they basically need to stop the Bellum Reveler now, the Monastery Swift Spear now, and never mill us till they've gained life because of our Lava Dart. All without using that Polluted Delta. Still don't know what this created step trigger only opponents mean. Not actually sure what they can play here. I think I should have cast a Bellum Reveler post combat actually, because I could hit a land and a second Swift Spear. So even if they have the removal for this, I might have had a chance to win either way. I think that was a slot player. So I need a force of negation now. No force of negation. All right. Well, we went three two in both events. Um, the four decks we lost to were Jund, Grixus, Grixus Death Shadow, Dredge, and we actually lost to a Tron opponent. The Tron opponent had Frag Tusk and Leyline of the Sanctuaries. But, uh, so we beat Mill, we beat Blue, uh, Blue Red Prowess, or Red Blue Prowess, however you want to call it. We beat, uh, Tron. I'm not actually sure what else we beat. I don't remember. Hmm. That's something I should probably remember. I think one of them was some kind of... The reason I'm struggling to remember is because we played a few games um, where I was accidentally playing versus the wrong, op wrong opponent and had to drop. Either way, I'm going to hop offline now. We've actually been live for nearly four hours today. Um, nice little six and four. Not great, but, um, you know, pretty good, you know, considering I think we won the matches we were supposed to win and lost to the matches we were supposed to lose to. Anyway, take care, everybody, and thanks so much for stopping by.